The father of a girl killed by a suspected hit and run driver believes her death could have been avoided. Police arrested a man they believe is responsible, and that man has a lengthy criminal record. Fox 13's Matt Markovich is outside the Pierce County Jail tonight where that man is being held. Matt? Yeah, and we're not naming the 32 year old Tacoma area man until he appears in court tomorrow, but he's being held on suspicion of vehicular homicide, burglary, firearms uh, violations, vehicular assault for hitting another 12 year old who survived that hit. And tonight the father talks about forgiveness, but also wonders why the man was out on the street to begin with. So they were just cutting this little section right here. John Goldate stands at a memorial at the spot where his 12 year old daughter was killed reacting to a call he got from detectives that her killer had been caught. We're very happy that he's caught, but it doesn't bring her back. Using surveillance video of the suspect and... We had a great tip from the community as well through Crime Stoppers, which gave us the identity of our suspect, and that really helped connect the pieces together, and from there we were able to work backwards and figure out where that person had been. A SWAT team arrested the 32-year-old man who has a lengthy criminal history. And that's part of the reason why we had the SWAT teams. And did so where he had been living two miles away. The suspect was standing outside in the garage doing something early in the morning and uh, when our SWAT team rolled up they immediately turned their lights on made announcements and he surrendered to them with no problems at all. I want him to carry my daughter immaculately with him for his whole life as, as a reminder of his need to change. John says he and his family have already forgiven the man saying God will provide justice on the other side of life but now on this the living side of life John believes his daughter's death could have been avoided. I think she's just a victim of these policies that allow that allow criminals to run free. The suspect has a history of skipping court dates and has been arrested and convicted multiple times, serving little or no jail time. He probably wouldn't even have been found for robbing the store had she not, you know, my daughter been killed. The suspect allegedly robbed a convenience store and was driving a stolen truck that killed immaculately. It's nice to know that justice is going to be served, that someone can't just do this and get away with it. And tomorrow the family will be holding the funeral services for immaculately. The suspect will be in court and then we're going to find out how this big wide community effort was arranged to go ahead and track down this suspect. Reporting live in Tacoma, Matt Markovich, Fox 13 News. Thank you.